Hello and welcome back to the channel everyone. Uh, tonight we're going to be doing something completely outrageous and uh, we're going to be talking about something that actually matters. Of course you know it, I know it, it's Corona time. More specifically though, I'd like to talk about my wonderful experience of uh, having to do my final exams in the middle of a pandemic. Let's get started, shall we? All right, let's start with the things that most obviously suck about this situation. There's no socials, no graduation assemblies, no 18th birthdays, and most devastating of all, uh, there's no more athletics carnival. Oh no. Because I'm sure we're all devastated that we don't get to go sit outside on somehow always either the hottest or the coldest day of the year and watch kids run in circles. Oh no. Now I think we can all understand that these social events, they obviously can't happen right now. Actually. Let me, let me say that again. The overwhelming majority of us understand that these social events can't occur. While we're on it, uh, just a quick message to uh, the geniuses of my generation. Do you know who's most likely to report you during quarantine? Yeah, I'm gonna guess it's your Snapchat followers when you decide to go record yourselves having an absolute blast without them. Oh, shit. Oh. Now I wanna make this clear. It is possible to do your final year of schooling online. However, if you got every kid who's doing their final year exam and asked them what they prefer, I, I can promise you that they, uh, they're, they're not big fans of the online class. Although that's if you ask a bunch of kids that are trying. Um, let's just say some of us, yeah, we're putting the um, disable mic and webcam buttons to good use. Let's just say that. But you know, it's the simple things you miss. You know, every handout's now a printout. There's no surprise substitute teacher, you know. When you get behind in class, you can't ask the person next to you what the hell was going on because you just kind of were absorbing all this like random information and just got the gist of it. That's when he pushed back. In this particular situation, the teacher did not stop. Now, can I just say, pretty much every teacher across the board here has pulled a rabbit out of the hat. I mean, they've moved every one of their classes online with it like maybe a week of notice. Although I have to stress, it is now more important than ever to have a good teacher. I have to say, if I was a teacher and I saw the amount of work that they had to do, plus the average teacher salary, my worksheets would just be this, printed a hundred times and slap it in a workbook. That's probably why I'm not in the teaching profession. But <laughs> From what I can work out, the Department of Education just essentially went like, right, you know that like teaching program you've been doing for like 10 plus years that has like diagrams, in-class discussions? Yeah, just move it all online uh, by Monday. How do I want you to do it? <laughs> hey, don't let me get in the way of your teaching environment, all right? But while we're talking about teachers, don't forget, there's also... If you throw that, you're gonna break his neck. <laughs> now, for years, people have been pushing to put exams online. And to be honest, I was one of those people as well. Uh, that was until I went into lockdown. <laughs> oh, you need a show working out for your maths exam? Oh, hope you know where the square root button is on your keyboard. What's that? You think it's unfair that you have to type on an iPad while everyone else gets to type on a laptop like a bazillion times faster? That sounds like a you problem. Oh, you live in a rural part of the country, do you? Well, I hope you've got enough time to both write and post me your essay in the mail. By the way, this isn't even factoring in the biggest disadvantage of this system. Now, after being shown on the big screen, Bancroft appeared to hide the object in his underpants. So you're thinking, how could someone ever cheat in an online supervised exam? And to that I say, wow, I didn't know they played my videos in aged care homes. Yeah, we figured it out, Gramps. So, okay, why don't we just make everyone get into a Zoom call and uh, everyone has to turn on their webcam so we can see what they're doing? Sounds simple, right? Yeah, until you realize what you're watching is a loop that I recorded of myself and uh, set as the background. And that's not even factoring in the, uh, well, my webcam's broken excuse. All right, so what if we just made it that they have to go on to a specific web page and uh, if they leave that web page to Google an answer, uh, it, it'll, it'll tell the host. All right, well, uh, this may come as a shock to you, uh, but my phone can Google as well. So what I've seen most of my teachers do is just throw in the towel and just say, you know what, every test is open book. And even if you're still struggling, you can just claim technical difficulties and then boom, there's another 10 minutes you can steal. I think we can all agree that the sooner we get out of our houses and get to socialize again, the better. Now, one of the tools the government is trying to implement 
is a, is a contact tracing app. So basically, every single time your phone walks past another phone, it'll log that, and then it'll save that data for 21 days. And then if someone you came in contact with uh, then tests positive for COVID-19, um, your phone then explodes, killing you. I mean, that, that should reduce the spread, shouldn't it? Look, yes, there are many serious privacy concerns with this app, although no one seemed to really raise them uh, when Google Maps asked for your location. That's, that's fine. They're lovely people. Also, if the government's going to steal your data for some nefarious purpose, yeah, I don't think they're going to check whether you gave them permission first. Also, relating back to schools, uh, apparently most students are going to be going back on a one-day-a-week basis. I have to say, when I first heard that, I thought they meant like, Alright everyone, class is Tuesday. Bring your hazmat suit, because we're going in. But what it actually means is that a certain number of students will go every day. And apparently it's up to the individual schools themselves to decide which students go back which days. So my question is, how are we, how are we gonna sort those ones out? All right, everyone, if your favorite color is blue, you're going back Monday. Um, if you're a Gemini, that's a Wednesday. Uh, blonde hair, that's a Friday. Oh, you're in year eight. Oh, I'm not dealing with you. <laughs> you can come back on a Saturday for all I care. Anyway, that's all from me. Uh, join me next time where I'll either be prancing around my house doing a funny voice or I'll be reading the constructive criticism from St. Kevin's Boys. Yeah, yeah, you can really tell he's thought about that comment.